State to execute man for murder despite DNA evidence suggesting innocence. The state of Missouri is set to carry out the execution of Marcellus Williams, a man convicted of a 1998 murder, despite DNA evidence that his attorneys argue proves his innocence. Williams, 55, is scheduled to die by lethal injection on Tuesday at 6 p.m. for the killing of Leisha Gale, a former social worker and journalist who was stabbed to death during a burglary at her St. Louis home in 1998. Although recent DNA testing on the murder weapon did not match Williams, both Missouri's Supreme Court and Governor Mike Parson have denied multiple appeals to halt the execution. Governor Parson, who has a history of not granting clemency in death penalty cases, stated, Nothing in the facts of this case has convinced me of Mr. Williams' innocence. As a result, the execution is set to proceed. Williams' defense team has fought the conviction for years, citing DNA evidence found on the butcher knife used in the murder that does not match Williams. In 2017, a panel of retired judges was convened to re-examine the case, but they could not reach a definitive conclusion regarding Williams' guilt. The Missouri Supreme Court, however, has not been swayed by this new evidence, ruling that it does not provide sufficient grounds to overturn the conviction. The court also rejected a request to delay the execution while it reviews concerns that a black juror was excluded from Williams' trial due to racial bias. Despite the lack of DNA evidence tying him to the crime, other factors played a significant role in Williams' conviction. A former cellmate testified that Williams had confessed to the murder while in prison, and his ex-girlfriend claimed she saw stolen items from the crime scene in his possession. However, his defense team, supported by the Midwest Innocence Project, argues these claims are unreliable. St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell has expressed his opposition to the execution, stating that the irreversible nature of the death penalty should not be an option when there is doubt about a defendant's guilt. He plans to appeal the decision to the U.S. Supreme Court. As the execution date draws near, the case has sparked widespread debate about the reliability of the justice system, particularly when DNA evidence suggests a potential wrongful conviction.